keys. Can you say hi? Hi, everybody. Welcome to Built on Faith Homestead, uh, where we like to talk about things like tiny houses and animals and wild edibles and gardening. And we like to talk about the Lord and raising our kids and the ways of the Lord. Um, and we started a little uh, video series last week. Called, I called it Lessons with the Chickens. It probably ought to be Lessons with the Animals. But um, today, we're going to see if we can't learn a little something from our chickens. And so, uh, I've got the girls with me out here today. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, warming up nice. It's pretty windy. Uh, but, hopefully the wind won't mess with the audio too awful bad. And we will show you guys uh, this little lesson today with the chickens. So here are our little barred rock chickens. Hopefully you guys can see them there. And I want to show you guys, we move them. Uh, got an old rope here, it's about to go bad on me. We just keep using it till it breaks. I've got a chain already out here ready to use on them. Uh, but we move these chickens. What's up Leah Joe? We move these chickens about once a week or so. Uh, and every once in a while, these chickens squirt out of this side over here and we have to herd them back in now i don't know if you've ever tried to herd chickens uh, but um, it can be a bit tricky and i have found one of the best ways is to as you chase them around your coop take your hat off and kind of hold it out and that will keep them from like if they're going straight and they want to turn if you hold your hat out to the side like that it will keep them from going in now, uh, today I'm wearing the cowboy hat because it's really sunny out and I'm keeping the sun off my ears and off the back of my neck. Uh, not because I'm a cowboy, I'm not anywhere close to a cowboy, but um, that's what I'm wearing today. Earlier this winter, uh, I would wear this hat. Now, uh, this is the lesson that I want to teach you guys. Uh, they used to be scared of this hat and I would hold it out and kind of shake it like that, uh, but they got to where they knew that hat wasn't really hurting them. Uh, and they wouldn't be scared of it no more and they wouldn't do what I needed them to do if we had to herd them back in uh, And whenever I started wearing the cowboy hat uh, In the summertime as it's getting warmer and hotter and more sunny all the time um, And I would send it out and I would shake it. Uh, it scared the daylights out of them uh, We had to change hats to get their attention once again uh, so basically what we do like i said is we run them around the chicken coop get them scared get them worked up uh, get our hats out in front of them uh, and get them uh, to pay attention to that hat and get more scared and they go running in their coop to their place of safety um, and this is the lesson that i want to teach you um, they got used to a hat and so we had to change hats we had to do something different uh, imagine for just a minute if the world powers the people uh, of the world the un or um, I don't know some really wealthy people that try to uh, run the world. Let's say just hypothetically speaking uh, <coughs> They um, had a hat um, That they released in somewhere around I don't know like 2019 2020 and We started getting used to that hat and people see the hat exists. I'm not saying the hat doesn't exist But people started getting used to that hat and they're like, you know what? Uh, it's not that that hat is completely safe uh, some people are even killed by that hat. Uh, however, uh, we're no longer living in fear of that hat. Uh, then let's say, I don't know, somewhere around 2022, uh, those same people said, listen, we can't herd these uh, chickens the way that we need to, and they're not listening to us, and they're not scared, and they're not running back inside. Uh, and so maybe we need to switch hats. Maybe we need uh, a new hat uh, around 2022 to get people scared and running back inside. Um, boy, it'd be a terrible thing if our world leaders today, it's so windy I can't even keep the hat on, if our world leaders today uh, figured out uh, that they could scare people uh, with very real things. Once again, the hat's very, very real. It'd be a terrible thing if they figured out they could use fear to control people. And once people get used to one fear, they just have to switch things up and get us scared once again of once again a very real thing boy wouldn't that be a terrible thing uh if world leaders ever figured that out i hope they don't watch this video <laughs> see i believe biblically biblically speaking uh there's just going to keep being different hats and more hats and even more deadly hats um i believe the bible predicts that 
<laughs> and, uh, you know, there'll be lots of pestilence hats and famines hats and war hats. See, I believe biblically speaking, these hats are just going to keep coming. All kinds of different hats. And I believe that um, evil powers of the world uh, will try to use those hats uh, to control the people and to put fear into the people in such a way that they are willing to give up their freedom. They're willing to give up possibly their religion. They're willing to give up on God uh, because they are so much in fear and in control of the governmental powers that are promising peace and security and safety from the hats. However, we need to understand that our peace, our security, our freedom, it all comes from the Lord. And as a Christian, as a brother or sister in the Lord, uh, we need to understand that even if we get killed by a hat, that death has lost its thing from the uh, resurrection of Jesus Christ, right? We know that uh, at the end of the day, uh, death is not the end of the story for us, that there are eternal consequences for our decisions that we make uh, on this side of eternity. And so, uh, I sure would hate Leah Joe for uh, this world to use different hats to scare us all the time and try to get control. That'd be a terrible thing. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you caught the drift through the hat conversation. We will catch you guys later.